Good morning and welcome back to The Core Connection. I'm Mira Rubin and we're here live on Enlightened World Network. It's been an interesting morning already. I All of a sudden after working with it for who knows how long, Chrome wasn't playing nicely with Facebook Live and I needed to update it. So you might want to check your situation if you're doing any kind of live broadcasting going forward to see if you have any compatibility issues. Anyway, before we get started this morning, let's just take a minute or two to settle in and take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it and feel your body before you release your breath. Feel your body, and as you release your breath, release any tension that you noticed in your back, in your neck, in your shoulders, in your hips. And now let's take another deep breath in. Hold it and feel the oxygen circulating in your body. Feel or imagine the, the air going through and enriching your cells and have them coursing through your bloodstream and your body. And exhale. And now let's just place our palms together gently and softly rub your fingers against your palms. Feel your fingertips. Feel your palms, feel the tingling come present to your body, and welcome. Good morning, Dido. So glad you're here. It's a new week, and I thought it would be lovely to start the week contemplating beauty and the life-giving power that beauty brings. Uh, I think that in our quest for functionality. Hello, Sue. Welcome. Thanks so much for being here. In our um, quest for efficiency and function and, and uh, practicality, we overlook the life-giving power of beauty. And I know for me, in my life, beauty has been such an essential gift it is enlivening for me and revitalizing and just just think of a time when you have had the pleasure of and the pure pleasure of seeing something beautiful that just stirred your soul i've been brought to tears sometimes by just the magnificent beauty of uh, something that I've seen in nature or in art or in, um, in an interaction between people. So beauty is, is one of these terms that is so much broader than uh, just a physical representation. Maybe you've listened to music that stirred your heart so deeply that it also brought you to tears just of of recognition of something so much grander than our 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 basic understanding of our perception what happens when we perceive beauty is it elevates us it elevates our frequency it elevates our uh, our experience and expands us into a a new dimension, a, a higher dimension of of awareness and a higher frequency of uh, vibration. So, what kinds of things are beautiful? I mean, you can you can look at a baby and revel in the the wonder of life itself when we i think we take so much for granted we don't we don't slow down to typically to recognize the gifts that we're surrounded by and when we allow ourselves to connect 
to the beauty of life, the experience of life, the richness that it presents to us, it, it restores us. It restores our deep sense of connection and uh, the, the richness of our senses, the gift that we have to be able to perceive magnificent sounds and, and, um, and beautiful colors and uh, the, the wonders of nature. And I, I liken the experience of beauty to the experience of awe and wonder and connecting to the magic of the universe and the m miraculousness of the gift of experience in physical form that we all have the privilege of enjoying. And the thing that is, uh, it w this was something that was uh, brought to mind to me in a, or overtly in a conversation with a dear friend who is a magnificent artist and uh, her name is Katherine Jansen and uh, you might want to look her up she's a photographer and uh, she for years and years every year would go to India and has compiled the most spectacular portfolio of images that are hauntingly beautiful and what Catherine brought conscious for me is the beauty that is available to us in in the the parts of the world and of life that we might not have otherwise considered beautiful it doesn't necessarily uh, match with the standard definition of what beauty might be uh, like the um, the beauty in certain darkness you know so she's photographed uh, animals that have perished and uh, magnificent you know beautiful traditionally beautiful things but also things that have a little bit of an edge to them something that that causes us to awaken an, another awareness and expand our ideas of of what is beautiful into understanding a deeper mystery of things and um so like the skeleton of for example and this isn't necessarily represented in her photographs but like the skeleton of a snake that may have um, died in the desert and you see these bones and the amazing symmetry between them and the the counterpoint of textures between the bones of the snake and the sand of the desert and just recognizing the contrast of life and and the essence of vitality so beauty is just like love beauty is not just pretty beauty can be can have incredible depth it can be wrenchingly beautiful like an opera that has a, a tragic story or a book that tells us um, about about the darker sides of life but it can also be just spectacularly beautiful so we have so many opportunities to experience beauty and I as a culture I believe we tend to discount it which which I am inviting you to recognize how important beauty is in our cities in our homes in our 
culture, in our lives, how important it is for rekindling life itself to uh, generate a connection with our environment and with a deeper part of our souls that that it is as fundamental to the quality of our lives as as anything else that um, sacrificing beauty in the name of efficiency is sacrificing life in the in the name of survival and um, so I, I would love to engage with you in a conversation about this because I think there's, there's a rising conversation about beauty as an essential, essential element to life, but I think culturally it hasn't really taken hold. And uh, creating beautiful spaces for living is something that nurtures our soul as we have the opportunity to be looking at how we're going to shape a new world, what we're going to create for ourselves, I invite us all to put our attention on beauty in all regards, how we can, how we can propagate beauty and how we can enrich our experience of it and invite it into our lives and uh, seek beautiful things and it's not just outwardly either there's there's beauty in emotion there's beauty in the fact that we can actually experience things there's uh, beauty outwardly there's beauty inwardly so go on a treasure hunt today it is a treasure so go on a treasure hunt today and look at things with an eye for beauty for discovering beauty and it doesn't just mean pretty so let's expand what that might mean for us and uh, share that Sue Seekoff says beauty is essential to life it nurtures us so deeply. It's true. And uh, there have been all kinds of studies in hospitals with people in hospital rooms that had windows that they could see something outside, that they could see something beautiful, or uh, people who have been in hospital rooms where there are landscapes and, and art to, uh, to enjoy, and they're healing it is quickened by the environment that they are surrounded with and um, that people heal more quickly uh, we flourish in an environment of beauty so um, nurture that in yourself and find find outlets and experiences for beauty I think, you know, we have, as a culture, uh, sort of made our support of the arts secondary, if not tertiary, <laughs> to uh, priorities. And the truth is that art is life and beauty is life. And as we fo redirect our focus, we can expand that. The more we put our attention to something, the more we can expand it. And beauty is something that we all need more of. So uh, that's, that's it for today. I just invite you to, to explore what beauty is to you and share it. Share the richness of that with others so that we can make this world an even more beautiful place. So I want to thank you for being here with me today. And it's a great way to start the week with a concentration on beauty. And uh, check out the other extraordinary programming on Enlightened World Network. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. So much love to you, deep compassion, and great gratitude for having you join me here today.
Much love.